Can there ever be too many demos? I mean, really, if you're interested in buying something, can you ever see enough of it in use? Well, here's an example of the Nutribullet by Magic Bullet. Uh, I'm going to put it to use this morning, making a smoothie, uh, a small one, a fruit smoothie. And then I got some spinach and stuff, apples, bananas, spinach. Um, and we'll let you see what you think about it. Um, so they, in the instructions, they say put the spinach in first. So I'm just going to put some spinach in there. And uh, then I'm going to go ahead and uh, I guess I'll put the apple in there. Uh, I'm going to put some strawberries in there and some banana. And uh, I might be filling this too full, but heck, I'm thirsty this morning, so we'll cram it down in there. And then I'm going to kick it off with just a little juice here. Now there is a max line right here. Um, that's generally what you're supposed to max out on the juice. So I might have maxed out a little bit. I'm just going to pour just a little bit out. And then we have the blade, which I am a little skeptical of this blade because it seems so dull. I mean, really, I mean, I, I don't see any, uh, I do see an edge to it, but it's not that strong. This is their, the key to their success is their secret um, food turning inside out blade. So we're going to put that on there. And that's, that's our, our yummy delight right there, right? Let's get you a good angle here so you can see what's going on. This thing clips down in here like this, right? And I'm going to see how it clips in. And I just push and turn and it should turn on here. So let's get you back up here and then we'll just go. Ah, you know what? It helps to plug it in. So let's plug it in. And voila. Last time I did this uh, with apples, I did get some chunks of apples. Um, it's looking kind of thick and green as you can see. And uh, since I didn't want only two chunks, mind you, not many, I'm just going to put it back in and blend it a little bit longer. So again, that just goes down. You know, it's pretty durable. That's pretty durable plastic housing. Uh, the teeth on the blade are pretty durable. They warn you not to fill it too full because you don't want to get juice in there because the juice will, the liquid will pour down into the into the motor housing and um, um, you can't clean it out. Now, I've not done that. This is the, the, about the fourth time I've used this, so... Oh, you know, one of the ingredients they said to put in with spinach is lemon, lemon juice or a little ginger. I forgot to do that. It helps cut back on the bitterness. So let's take a look at this now. Pretty smooth looking, like split pea soup. It's pretty good. Uh, the apple flavor is what's coming out the most. No chunks. So it does, you can see some 
little there's some strawberry chunks little tiny sedimentary not too chunky or anything but yesterday I made one that was more of the consistency of say uh, applesauce kind of a little bit a little bit of apple grit in there but apple skin grit but for the most part it does do as advertised uh, that dull looking blade does do the trick and really the cleanup it's easy the blade is now clean and um, you know there's like a little cup holder so you can turn this into a cup all kinds of things so there's my demonstration of the uh, magic bullet neutral bullet um, if you want to suggest things to put in there that you would rather see tested before you go out and buy it uh, go ahead and let me know as long as I can find it in the market or um, or can afford it then I'll give it a shot I have a couple recipes with avocados just so you know I don't ever plan on drinking one of these unless I'm desperate <laughs>